Hi, this is Maria from theteacherschool.com and I wanted to address a problem that I'm hearing from a lot of math teachers these days, which is how to use manipulatives when we're doing remote learning. So we have been so great as math teachers pulling in Unifix cubes, dice, spinners, blocks, anything that we can use to make math real. Kids have to hold math in their hands before it makes sense to them abstractly. And we've been doing a great job with that. And then along came mandatory uh, remote learning. So I wanted to do a quick video about ways that you can incorporate virtual manipulatives into your Zoom or Google Hangouts or Google Meets, or I don't even know what it's called anymore. <laughs> Sorry, Google. The way you can incorporate it into your online remote learning sessions. And I have three ways that you can go about it. So first we're gonna just start with a virtual whiteboard. I'm using bit paper right here. And I I'm using bit paper to just show you how you can create your own virtual manipulatives on a whiteboard. So for example, you might make um, a virtual manipulative. I picked the color red, I'm gonna pick this shape here, circle, and I'm, I might use it to make two-sided counters. Two-sided counters are great for exploring integers, positive and negative numbers. So the reds usually some signal the negative one and the yellow signal positive one. And that's one way to make your own virtual manipulatives. Another um, virtual manipulative that I use within uh, create and manipulate within something like bit paper is to take to take a shape like a triangle and you can manipulate it, move it around, that kind of thing, um, rotate it. I've been using that lately with kids I have when working on geometry. Other virtual manipulatives might be to, that you could make might be to create your own fraction bars. So yeah, I would take like a square, another square, um, uh, and the bit paper also has cubes and cylinders. So again, area, perimeter, anything like that you want to work on, you can make your own shapes this way. You could also use this, you might make it an, oops, <laughs> pretend it's straight. Uh, if you click, uh, something about bit paper is if you click this little thing right here, it'll give you a straight line and um, to start in the beginning. I'm going to start in the middle, and you might cut it into fractions this way. So that's one way you might create and use your own manipulatives in a virtual whiteboard. Uh, another way that you could use manip virtual manipulatives, and I'm going to create an, a new page here, is to pull manipulatives from other apps. So for example, this is the toy toy theater site and here I'm at the um, the two color number counters and here you can actually manipulate them so you can share this screen itself with students and have you see this it's got that very satisfying satisfying noise that might be one way to use one of the toy theaters manipulatives or you can screenshot it uh, capture it and then pull it over into your bit paper. So just drag it into your bit paper. So that could be, that's another way is screenshotting manipulatives and dragging them into your virtual whiteboard. Okay. Um, I did this for a number line activity today. And the third way you can use virtual manipulatives is to just use them straight on the site. So for example, again, this is toy theater. You can use these fraction bar manipulatives to compare numbers, you can see, or half falls and a fourth. Um, they also have percentage strips and circles that fraction circles. And if you go all the way to the beginning here of the toy theater site, 
there is an ad on the side here, but it, you can also use any of the manipulatives they have here, including they have perimeter ones, pattern blocks, and I really love the dice. The dice are my new favorite thing. So this could be a way that you could play a game that involves dice in your classroom. Um, there's also a spinner uh, that you can use as well. So either way, the dice, the spinner, those are both super helpful. You can change the number of sides on the die um, and then the number of dice. So I often play a game called Pig and um, I hope to show you this some other time. Very satisfying throwing sound. And that might be one way that you could use virtual manipulatives by pulling up screen sharing and pulling up a site. Same thing with the spinner. You can do the same thing. Also great sound. <laughs> and you can make it full screen. Again, this is Toy Theater. So that would be the site that you're going to get this from. And I will put a link in the video notes. So three ways that you can use manipulatives, virtual manipulatives. One, creating your own on a virtual whiteboard. Two, importing them as screenshots or images into the virtual whiteboard. And three, going on to sites like Toy Theater here where you're using the manipulatives and sharing your screen. Okay, I hope that's helpful and I'll talk to you soon. If you wanna learn more about incorporating a virtual whiteboard like BitPaper, into remote learning. Check out this video next.